Pakistan voted for a civilian government in a historic election. It is an election of many first and undoubtedly the most important ones in the country's history. Most exit polls predict a win for PTI chief Imran Khan, but let me remind you, those are just exit polls. So what will the Pakistan election mean for India? Whether it is PMLNS Shahbaz Sharif, the brother of Indian Prime Minister's good friend, or Imran Khan, the so-called army puppet, their ties with the Indian leader Narendra Modi would be watched keenly. It is a very known fact that these elections are very, very important for the Sark neighborhood. Nawaz Sharif was probably India's best bet as a leader who repeatedly challenged the army and one who wanted to mend fences with India. Nawaz would have been an idle prime minister for New Delhi. His personal chemistry with Narendra Modi made the job even easier. Like the last time when Indian Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif made a surprise visit to Lahore to meet his Pakistani counterpart or when he touched Sharif's mother's feet to take her blessings. The relationship between the two leaders could have made it easier for India to resolve issues with its neighbour but Nawaz Sharif's conviction that scenario will not turn into reality. But if PMLN does come back to power, Shehbaz Sharif will be their Prime Minister in face. He is known to his brother's line on normalizing relations with India, he tows it. On June 12th, right after the Trump came meeting, Shehbaz Sharif had suggested that India and Pakistan must resume talks. But what's said and what's done are two very different things in unlikely event of win. The PMLN is unlikely to challenge the army. In fact, Shahbaz Sharif is known to be more accommodative of the army as compared to his brother Nawaz. So in most probability, there will be a status quo if the incumbent party returns. The other option, and if exit polls are to be believed, the more probable one is Imran Khan will be the next Prime Minister of Pakistan. What would that mean for India? For one, Indian government will have to deal with a completely unknown politician, a man who is far cry from a seasoned politician like Sharif Imran Khan has been his country's sporting superstar but never held a position of power. Secondly, Imran Khan has blamed the Indian government for running ties between, for completely ruining the ties between the two countries. Imran Khan says that India's current dispensation often makes Pakistan a scapegoat when it comes to Kashmir. During his campaigning, Imran wrecked up Kashmir time and again and that would be a sticking point between the two countries. Even on the day of voting, he targeted India and the Indian media saying that he was being targeted by the media in India as he was a nationalist Pakistani. But Imran, also known to be a player of convenience, while talking about Pakistan's economy, he had pitched resuming trade ties with India to fill their coffers. A politician who could use India for his country's gain could spell trouble for the Indian government.